Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve this puzzle from round six of the Sudoku Grand Prix that was held in June in uh, South Korea. Click on the link below if you want to try the puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. So if you look at this puzzle, you can see there's a lot going on pushing into this middle grid here. So hopefully you can kind of see four, four, and four means this has to be a four. And then you also look at the eights. This can be an eight. Okay, uh, then look right here. I believe we can solve this cell as well because we got the sevens coming down. So there's the sevens. And then you have a two, three, and nine. The three cuts across down here. So I will make these marks. Um, in competition, Snyder marks is kind of the way to go. So I'll make Snyder marks and I'll mark uh, any uh, hidden or pointed or naked pairs. And that's the only mark I'm going to do because that's kind of how the, how the pros do it. So I'll make two marks for eights here. Uh, threes, threes, you can see because of this three and because of this pointing pair, you can actually solve that for a three. There's this two spots for three down there. Okay, I see these fours, I'll make two spots for four right there. And then, uh, where else can I do right off the bat here? Uh, I'm looking, you know, this seven, eight, four is kind of like a little shelf. So you can see how the threes play the ones. I got two spots for a one right there uh, but is there anything else I can do with the ones okay the ones are kind of like a pointing pair right there and then the threes you'll notice how they come across row two another little shelf I call it uh, threes have to be one of these three spots here in block two so then the threes got to be one of those two spots and so this is gonna be a claiming pair here in block three all right uh, what else with the ones one of those has to be a one so I'll mark that I feel like we might be able to do a little bit more here with the with the ones. You kind of do like little X-wing shapes going on. Uh, sevens, two spots for seven there, and then kind of the shelf idea is how the six and the five come across, and then there's a five six here. So you'll notice these work together, and since there's a five six here and a five six here, this creates a five six hidden pair. Five six can only be in two spots in this block, and they're in the same two spots. That's going to be very helpful for us. Okay, and now the fives kind of create a pointing pair right there, and then the sixes, sixes will create a pointing, uh, will create only two spots here. You know, this is called Snyder notation, only two spots in the grid. And you mark it, so if you solve one of these cells, I can go to the other one really quickly. And like I said, it's kind of what the pros do. Four, four, and four. I don't really call it pro, though, because you're not really getting that paid that much. It's more like the, the world champions and the experts at Oka players. There's a four right there. Two spots for four right here. Nice. Okay. Uh, so making some progress. What else can I see? So now I made the six come down. Six over here. So this has to be a six. Uh, and then six, six, three spots for six there. We already marked that four. Uh, making a lot, lot, of, lot of progress. A lot of progress here. So what I'll look at next is I feel like there's still some more cross hatching I can do here. So this nine comes down. The nines are not limited to two spots here in block eight and they're limited to row eight. So this is a pointing pair. So nines can't be anywhere else across row eight. Four, eight, four, six, eight, nine, four, six, eight. Okay, nothing else I can do with that uh, particular part. But now you might notice if we look right here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a naked single nine. We can solve that for a nine right there. Pretty cool, huh? I uh, just happened to see there's like a clump of digits kind of feeding in. If I look right here, though, I don't. Looks like that could be a two or a three right now. So that doesn't really help us. Okay, uh, six is going to be in one of these spots. Actually, it's going to be a two, a three, or a six. Alrighty. Uh, fives, I can solve for five. See how this five cuts across the shelf? That's going to be a five. Nice. And then two spots for five right here. Sweet. Okay. Threes. Uh, something else to keep in mind. I can actually solve this cell, though, looking at it differently. Instead of looking at it as a naked single, look at a hidden single, right? So the three can't be here or here. Can't be anywhere else across row seven. That is a three. I can solve that right there. I'm not sure why I said I couldn't. Okay, which leaves us with a naked pair now, since there's only two remaining possibilities, two and a six. 
Interesting. We've got this 5, 6 here. What? And you'll notice that the 5, 6 can't be right here. So look, there's three spots here in row 5. You'll notice that the 5 and 6 cover this spot. And you know the 5, 6 can only be in this spot. And so where else can the 5, 6 be? If it can't be here, it's both 5 and 6 got to be there, right? Because one of the 5, 6s has to be here. The other one has to be there. And so we can actually solve this cell, too. Uh, so what is it? It's going to be a 9. And now I see 4, 9, and 4, 9. It looks like the 4s and the 9s are a hidden pair up there in block 3, because that's the only spot, two spots for 4, 9. So you have this 5, 6 hidden pair, 4, 9 hidden pair. It really blocks up column 9, which is kind of nice. And then what do you have in here? You'll notice one of these spots has to be a 7, and they have to be an 8. So whenever you see this situation, where there's the sevens are limited to two spots, the eights are limited to two spots, and there's a third digit. That third digit can be eliminated right away because that one ain't going to fit there. It's got to be seven and eight. So we can make this a seven, eight, and I'll get rid of the extra marks. Cool. All right, so now the eight and the seven make some restrictions. And since we solved that one, this is a one. Nice. And then... What else can we do about that? So what are these last two digits here? Looks like it's going to be a 2 and a 9, right? So we can mark that 2 and a 9. Okay. And this is a 5 or a 6. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to point something out here that I see. You know something unique about these? <laughs> Use that term. 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6. So this is part of unique rectangle. All three of these are 5 or 6. So this cell right here cannot be a 5 or a 6. If this was a 5 or a 6, then you'd have the deadly patterns. So it would be like, you know, a 5, 6, 6, 5. And then you could solve the puzzle, go back and go 6, 5, 5, 6. Well, that's no good. So I know this cannot be 5 or 6. And if you want, I'll put a link to my uh, unique rectangle tutorial. Uh, you can look at, you can check that out right now. Or watch the whole video first, then come back to it. And I'll kind of explain a little bit more. Like this looks like a type one, right? So if this can't be a five or six, what can it be? Uh, it could be a two. It could be three, four. We said five, six, seven, eight, and it can be a nine. Well, that's interesting, right? That's a two nine, and this is a two nine. First of all, let's get rid of all of our highlights. Then this is limited now to a 5, 6 again. Hopefully it makes sense, right? 2 and 9 got to be in one of these two spots, so that's how it has to be a 5 or a 6. And so now this is a 5, 6, and this is a 5, 6. Well, we know that's limited to 2, 3, 9 already. But that's that's kind of interesting how all that works out. All right. Um, maybe another way to see it is if I had 2, 3, 9 here, 2, 9, uh, you know, might have seen it more like a hidden, uh, hidden triple in some way. But... What's now really interesting is let's check out the twos. The twos are limited to two spots. Uh, these two columns, right? Columns one and two in block seven. And then the twos are also limited to these twos in, in block four. So the twos have got to be in one of these three spots, right? Well, it looks like the sixes are the same way. See how the sixes are limited? to columns one and two and columns one two so six has to be in this spot and then see how the nines come across here make this pointing pair so a nine can't be there so that means the nine's got to be one of these two spots and so what you can see is now two six and nine they're limited to these two columns in blocks four and seven so they all the two six nine has to be A naked triple up there in block one that's interesting I'm not sure if there's another way to, to see that a little bit easier but this is a two six nine naked triple and this is a two six nine naked triple and I'll mark it just to kind of show or actually a two six nine hidden triple then this can't be two six or nine and so what can that be I can't be two six or nine that has to be a five we have to be able to solve that for a 5. And so since that's a 5, this is a 5. Okay, pretty cool. I like how they put that in here. And then this can't be a 5 anymore either. That's got to be a 5. Very cool. And now we can disambiguate these 6s and 5s. 
See how that works? 65, 26, 29. Get all that work done. This is a 9. 5, 6. Wow. And then I'll show this as a 2, 3. Because that's what's limited here. This is a naked pair now in block 5. I've got a lot of work done with that. Finding this little hit. It's actually a hidden triple. 2, 6, 9. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so what else can we do about that? Uh, we solved this 9, so that's no longer 9. This is your 9, and that's your 1. And so now we can solve this for a 1. That's no longer a 1. Uh, so where are we going from here? You know, this is a 2, 3. So I'm just marking because this is a naked pair already. And then down here, what do you have? That would also be a 2, 3. And so we're going to be able to solve for this cell right here, right? Because you can see that's 2, 3, and that's a 2, 3. The only thing remaining would be a 6. Uh, the other way you can see it is just cross-hatching by looking at these two 6s in columns 4 and 6. It all depends on what you see first. So now that is no longer a 6. Uh, and then 6, 6, technically two spots for 6 there. But we're going to be able to solve that. Probably should have just looked over to the right and solved this first. Then I can solve that for a six. And then this is gonna be your two, and that's gonna be your nine. And we can move on from there. So nine, nine. Remember we had this four, nine over here. And then we had this four over here. See how that works? Love it, love it. All right, and now this is a three, seven naked pair because there's no other spots for three or seven across row three. So three, seven, three, seven. And you'll see this thing is happening again, right? The, the sevens are limited to columns eight and nine in these two blocks. So guess where seven has to be here? It has to be this one remaining spot. So that's got to be a seven, right? Because it can't be here or here because they're they're going to be one seven's going to be like here or here, and the other one's going to be there or there. So this has to be your seven. This has got to be uh, your eight. And then you know three sevens are right there. This has got to be your two. Very cool. All righty. And so three seven. Eight. That's a three eight. Can't solve that yet. So let's move to a place where we can solve. Uh, we marked that two. So what was the consequences that we can do a three two and a three, and then a two and a three, and make all kinds of solving, which gets us this three, and we can go now for the seven and the three right there, and then the eight and the seven right there, and now we have only two spots left. Uh, one's got to be a two, and the other's got to be your eight. So now I'm going to concentrate on the full houses. You can see there's only one spot remaining in row eight, which actually has to be an eight. And now eight, eight. This is your eight. This is your seven. So we can mark that seven, get rid of that Snyder notation. This is your two. And now we're looking at a seven and a nine. Check out these other videos. You want to see some more cool solving like this. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. And yeah, check out some of the other puzzles from Sudoku Grand Prix. Thank you so much for watching.